guys, what's up? Ryan here with your PFC Training Minute. We, we might have made this video once before, I can't remember, but I got uh, requested to, to cover it by, uh, by one of our viewers here. So this is specifically for our south paws, or for those of you guys who are righties who might uh, mess around in the bilateral shooting realm, we support that. But it's talking about something that's really delaying, adding two steps in the mounting process on the carbine. This is when we've got a selector, but it is not an ambidextrous selector. So one of the things we're seeing is lefties or folks who are running the gun southpaw, they take and they maintain a full hand grip on the carbine. And when they want to take and fire, they come up, move their thumb around to the port side of the gun, manipulate the safety, then go back around to achieve a full hand grip. Two added steps in there that are totally unnecessary. Me, uh, I'm a uh, born and raised lefty. My thumb lives over on the port of the left side of the carbine. So from here, when I take and I mount the weapon, I disengage the selector. From there, I engage. Then I sweep it back on and my thumb lives over there. The only time or the only exceptions where I may go into a full hand grip, and that's not even always absolute, is one, if I'm coming up into a high control position, to take and perform some sort of a manipulation. And then the other one is obviously if I take and go up into a full handed, full finger grip, high port uh, orientation on the weapon. So give this one a try, it'll uh, it'll save you. or not huge fans of ambidextrous safeties where it can bump our knuckle over on the support side and then cause us to not fully disengage the selector. Give it a try, be safe.